this update. The senseless murder of Canadian Matthew Klink continues to make headlines in his native land and in the country he has called home since 2011. Following the discovery of his decomposing body on Monday night, police have been meticulous in the processing of the scene, gathering evidence and immediately canvassing the area. That investigative work seems to have paid off, just days after the brutal killing of the local film maven. San Ignacio police lead charges on two persons today for the crime of murder and conspiracy to commit murder. Um, one of the persons charged is um, Brandon Anderson, a 19-year-old resident of La Loma Luz Boulevard, Santa Elena Tung, um, along with a minor as well from Santa Elena. They were both charged jointly, as I previously mentioned, and they were arraigned this morning in front of the San Ignacio Magistrate Court. Police are confident that they have the right persons in custody, even more certain because both teenagers have confessed to some degree. We have um, statements that we recorded. We have confession statement from each one of them. And we also have some sort of evidence that we gathered at the scene um, during the investigation, which we could link to the murder of Mr. Klink. And after consultation with our legal advisor, with the management team that we investigated, we know that we have evidence surrounding the matter and that we could have laid the charges on both persons. And that's why we, today we concluded by charging them. The two teenagers have allegedly admitted to planning the murder of Klink, including buying gloves and obtaining the motorcycle, which would get them to the murder scene. Neither of them has admitted to stabbing the Canadian, who called Brandon Anderson a friend. Police have allegedly also retrieved large sums of money from both men, Anderson and the minor, which they believe was stolen from Klink. What we believe that robbery was the motive of the murder, reason being that we recovered uh, cash, which we have as evidence which will be presented at the end of the day in court. And we have evidence where one of the accused was seen going to the residence of the gentleman on the day we believe he was murdered. Police are exploring the possibility that a third person was involved, but say that it seems unlikely at this point since neither of the persons in custody have made any allusion to an accomplice. Mike Rodon, for